everyone, this is Dr. Salman Zafar with the lecture series on basic concepts in organic chemistry. If you're not sure or you're confused about drawing the correct Lewis structure of a molecule and assigning uh, any charges to the atoms in a molecule, uh, whether they are positively charged, negatively charged or neutral, so you don't have to worry because Today I'm going to tell you a very simple way to assign charges to any atom in a molecule drawn with the correct Lewis structural formula. So we'll discuss how to calculate or determine the formal charge on any atom in a molecule. What is a formal charge? It's the apparent charge on an atom in a molecule. So when you draw a molecule with the correct uh, Lewis structural formula, uh, then the last, the first thing that you should be concerned about is that whether these atoms present in the molecule, they are charged. Do they have any uh, positive or negative charge on them or they are neutral? So some of the atoms in molecules, uh, in some molecules may have charges and that apparent charge is known as the formal charge on that atom. So it's very important to draw the correct Lewis structure of a molecule because unless and until you don't know the correct Lewis structure you won't be able to uh, sort of uh, predict its properties especially its chemical reactivities the uh, the transfer of electrons during a chemical reaction so it's very important to know how to draw the correct Lewis structure of a molecule. Now some atoms in some of the molecules might have a positive or a negative charge and that comes when there is a difference between the electrons that an atom should actually have and the atom uh, or and the electrons that the atom has in reality in that molecule. So when there is a difference uh, in the number of electrons an atom should have and an atom actually has in a molecule then it might have a positive or a negative charge. If it has the same number of electrons that it should have then it would be neutral. So any neutral molecule may have charged atoms uh, in the structure. So there might be some formal charge associated with uh, one or more than one atoms uh, uh, in a molecule. But uh, if the neutral molecule, is, is the, if the molecule is neutral, then the number of positive and negative charges would always be equal. So the molecule as a whole would be neutral, but the atoms inside may have positive or negative charges. So let's see how to calculate the formal charge. So there's a very simple formula for the calculation of formal charge and it says that the formal charge on any atom is equal to the number of electrons in the valence shell of that atom minus the, the sum of the unshared electrons associated with that particular atom and half of the bonded electrons right now this sum of the unshared uh, electrons and the bonded electrons is known as the electron count of that atom electron count is the number of electrons surrounding that particular atom in a molecule or uh, it may be in a charged species and the number of electrons in the valence shell is actually the group number. So if you don't know how many electrons are present in the valence shell of an, of an atom, just go to the periodic table, find that particular uh, element in uh, the periodic table, see the group number and the group number will tell you the number of electrons present in the valence shell of that atom or that element and if you don't know what does this mean half of the bonded electrons so bonded electrons are those electrons which 
are present in a bonded form or these are the electrons bonded between two atoms in a molecule right so when we have a covalent bond we say that both the atoms have some control uh, or uh, uh, both the atoms can claim both the electrons so the bonded electrons actually belong to uh, both of them but here uh, to calculate the formal charge we will be taking half of that and half of the bonded electrons mean the number of bonds so if you don't know how to calculate half of the bonded electrons or you don't know how many bonded electrons are there for a particular atom in a molecule just see how many bonds it has formed and that is equal to half of the bonded electrons and then we have the unshared electrons so what does the unshared electrons mean unshared electrons are those which are not shared with any other atom in the molecule so it could be the lone pair present on an atom and additionally it may have any electrons that are gained through a process so if a particular molecule or a particular uh, ionic species uh, is obtained as a result of some chemical reaction so during that chemical reaction a particular uh, species or molecule may have gained or lost lost some electrons so uh, the unshared electrons are those uh, which are not shared with any other atom it may be the lone pair plus any of the gained electrons during a particular process so to explain this with the help of an example I have the formula uh, written again here and uh, first we'll start off with uh, an ionic species so we have a hydroxyl ion and hydroxyl ion you all know is uh, uh, have a negative charge minus one charge over it and that charge is associated with the oxygen atom of course right so this is the uh, electronic configuration of oxygen in hydroxyl ion and you see this oxygen atom has six electrons in its outermost shell and to be neutral it must have uh, eight electrons or its octet has to be complete so oxygen that is why usually forms two covalent bonds just like in case of water so it forms two single covalent bonds with two hydrogen atoms so two hydrogen atoms share their two electrons with oxygen oxygen already having six now has eight electrons because of the two uh, electrons provided by the two or shared by the two hydrogen atoms so its octet is complete but here in this case in the hydroxyl uh, ion it has only one hydrogen attached to it so uh, you can say that uh, it has one two three four electrons here this is the fifth electron that is shared with uh, hydrogen and one of them is the sixth valence electron of oxygen and we're left behind with this electron now this is an extra electron on the hydroxyl line this is usually thrown to the students and not told uh, from where this uh, electron has come while calculating the formal charge on this hydroxyl uh, ion so this ion has been produced uh, as a result of certain chemical reaction and this extra electron here might have come because of that chemical reaction now it is present on oxygen here so we have to take it into account and then calculate the formal charge on oxygen in this hydroxyl ion so again you already know that it is uh, it has a minus one charge but let's see if that is true uh, when we calculate its formal charge finally right so let's see uh, oxygen uh, has six electrons in its valence shell because it belongs to group six so we will uh, apply all this information uh, about oxygen in this formula so the formal charge is equal to the number of electrons in the valence shell that is six here for oxygen because it belongs to group 6 or 16 in the periodic table minus this oxygen has formed one bond you see there is only one bond 
present in this whole species uh, that the oxygen uh, forms with this hydrogen so it has only one bond formed with another atom so it has one bonded pair and one bond one covalent bond means two electrons right so it has how many bonded electrons it has two bonded electrons and according to the formula we have to take half of that so half of two and i already told you if you don't know how many bonded pairs or bonded electrons are there just see how many bonds that particular atom has formed so oxygen has formed one bond so you can just simply write here one or two half of two is equal to one so it's one of the same thing and then finally we see how many unshared electrons are there so you see in this structure it has six unshared electrons you see it has six electrons in the valence shell as i told you before one two three four one is shared with the hydrogen and this is the sixth one and this electron is an extra electron gained because of some chemical reaction so we have to take this into account as well because now this is present with oxygen it is um, uh, occupied by oxygen so it has six unshared electrons in this species right for its own lone pairs and this is also an unshared electron waiting to be shared with someone and this electron is gained through some chemical process so we have six unshared electrons in this case so we write six here for the unshared electrons and now if you calculate six plus half of two is equal to one so this becomes seven six minus seven is equal to minus one so now you see oxygen in the hydroxyl ion has a minus one charge. So it's true that hydroxyl ion has a minus one charge. Hydrogen does not have any charge on it. Its formal charge here is zero. Oxygen has a minus one charge. So the overall charge on this species would be minus one plus zero is equal to minus one. So how hydrogen is zero? number of electrons in valence shell of hydrogen is zero minus unshared electrons on hydrogen here in this case zero plus half of the bonded electrons how many bonded electrons does hydrogen has two half of two is equal to half of two is equal to one it does not have any uh, unshared electrons and number of uh, electrons in the valence shell uh, is not zero it's one so one minus one is equal to zero so hydrogen does not have any formal charge here oxygen has a minus one charge so the overall charge on this uh, species on this OH ion is minus one so this is how you calculate the formal charge on ionic species and now we discuss a neutral molecule methane so let's see how we can calculate the formal charge on the carbon atom in methane so carbon you know it belongs to the fourth group so it should have four valence electrons so here we write four minus and then we come to the brackets so it has formed four bonds so it has four bonded pairs one two three four so it has eight electrons uh, in bonded form and half of eight is equal to four and that is the actual number of bonds formed by carbon right so you can just write here uh, instead of half of the bonded electrons you can also write the number of bonds formed by that particular atom carbon in this case so it has formed four bonds you just write four here or half of the bonded electrons that is half of eight is also equal to four and then how many unshared electrons does it have so it has no unshared electrons carbon here zero so you write zero here so zero plus four is equal to four minus four is equal to zero so carbon does not have any formal charge uh, in methane now let's see if hydrogens 
have any charge. So the bonding situation of all the hydrogens is the same here, as was the case in uh, hydroxyl ion. All the hydrogens have formed one bond. The number of valence electron uh, uh, valence electrons is one for all the hydrogens. So you write one, then no unshared electrons plus half of the bonded electrons or the number of bonds formed by any one of these hydrogens. So it has formed one bond. So one plus zero is equal to one minus one is equal to zero. And this is the same for all the hydrogens. So all the hydrogens have no formal charge in case of methane. And similarly, carbon does not have any formal charge on it. So the overall charge on methane is zero. There is no overall charge. This is not an ionic species. It's a neutral molecule. So this is how you can calculate formal charge on um, any atom uh, in a molecule. I hope this was simple. Uh, still, if you have any problem, uh, please write in the comment section. I'll be happy to explain. Thank you so much for joining.